everybody, it's Olivia here for my Castle Thursday video. As you can see, I am very sweaty and I am glistening. I guess I shouldn't say sweaty, I am glistening. Uh, it's really hot here and I've been working outside all day. <laughs> um, it feels like 109 or something here, so I think it's time. Uh, it's really hot. I mean, this is normal for Minnesota, kind of in July, August, um, but it's still really hot. So, I just had to complain about that, and how I had to shovel and loot hot mix all day on tar. It was a little horrible, but I made it through, and I didn't pass out, and I'm fine. And now I get to have a cold beer after work, and that's always a good thing. I earned it. Okay, so, finished off shoes. Um, I made this giant octopus. It's just like the smaller ones that I made, but just large. And I made it with um, a super bulky weight yarn. And I'm really happy with it. I think it's adorable. I also made um, four headbands like this, but t two of them I gave to my mom. So, that's, they're just for babies. They're really cute. They have just a little flower and then just a single crochet line that you connect together. So that is that. I had two more, but yeah, like I said, I gave them to my mom. I think one was green and one was blue with an opposite colored flower. And then to my favorite project right now. Um, the sock is really close to being done. I, I picked it up again this week and I worked on it and I honestly just have the decreases left and then I'll set it aside and then I'll knit the other one and I'll do the Kitchener stitch on both of them at the same time. I've never done it so I'm kind of putting it off because I don't want to try it. I'm a little nervous but I think it'll be fine. Um, but this project I put a lot of time in on today that Malin B is actually working on too. So I watched her video yesterday and I just kind of chuckled to myself because she was working on the same project with me. Oh shoot. I'm not at the end of a row. Oops, okay, whatever, I'll just show you like this. Um, so this is it so far. It's going to be a shawl. It's called The Age of Brass and Steam. It's a really easy, super ridiculously easy knitting pattern. It's a really good pattern for people who have already mastered the knit and purl stitch and they want to kind of do something more than a scarf or a dish rag, maybe. Sorry, I'm just really sweating up a storm down here. I don't have air conditioning down here, so it's really hot. Uh, but yeah, the, the thing that they would learn from doing this is the eyelets, you know, making the holes from doing yarn overs and knit two togethers and stuff. So if you are a knitter, a fairly new knitter, who um, knows how to knit and purl, and wants to try something new that's super easy, you should definitely give this a shot because it's a gorgeous pattern and it's super easy to do and the yarn I'm using is Malabrigo which may I just say is one of my favorite yarns ever. Ever. Malabrigo is so wonderful. Everyone should treat themselves to at least one skein of Malabrigo. It's a little on the expensive side but it's totally worth it. I mean look at these colors. They're so gorgeous. There's just so many slight variations in color through this. There's greens and purples, little yellow, brown, blues. It's just so beautiful. I love it. I love it. I love it. I can't wait till this is finished and I can wear it in, you know, fall, winter months over a t-shirt or something to kind of dress it up. Um, but that's everything. I kind of... I've been working on this a lot, which is taking a fair amount of time. This actually will be a lot bigger too because it gets stretched a lot when it's blocked. This will definitely be something I block. I don't always block my projects, but this will have to be blocked. But it stretches it a lot when you block it, so that's it's going to be bigger. Um, but I have about 16 rows to go, and then, um, then I bind it off. So I'm getting close, and I'm hoping that this gets me to the end because I'm using um, worsted and it calls for DK. So I'm hoping that it all works out and that I'll have just enough to finish everything and not much left over. So I guess we'll see if it's looking really close. I'm probably just gonna have to cut some of the stocking knit rows down and just go to the end and finish it off. 
But, oh, whew, whew, sorry, he's gonna do me. Also, we have reached 150 subscribers. So, in the next week, once I get my prizes wrangled up, um, I'm going to do the drawing for the winners. I'm gonna have two winners out of the people that are subscribed, so you still have time. If you get subscribed before I make that video, you will be in the clear and you could possibly win some cool yarn. So if you haven't subscribed yet, you should do it. And comment below if you want to say anything. I love getting comments from people. It's really encouraging and wonderful. And check out the other Cast Off Crew members in the description box below. I will also include the patterns that I used for the stuff I made today. And I will see you guys next Thursday. Bye.